Hello, we are back to talk about the final two seasons of, or five, <laughs> fuck, Let's talk about take two. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, we are, we are back to talk about the final two episodes of this season of BoJack. This part, season part. Episodes seven and eight. Here we go. So it's going to be a doozy. You know how long this video is. We don't right now, but I'm sure it's <laughs> pretty will. long. So you're probably looking at the runtime and going, oh boy. Oh boy. Can I do it? <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> no, these... Uh, the thing is, too, it's like these episodes specifically back and forth. Like when, like how they're structured, yeah. you really are like, oh, episode seven. That's a that's a good episode. I can't right. believe there's like another part. And then you get yep. to episode and you're like, eight, and you're like, oh, they play oh, the way fuck. they play off each other is yeah. so perfect in the kind of the the way like the way that BoJack is and the way it kind of breaks down like more of a traditional you know narrative structure yeah. into like your your expectations of like what a TV show is is like supposed to be mm-hmm. are not are are not going to be when i was met. actually watching yeah. this the first time um i just finished episode seven or i was about almost done and my girlfriend came home <clears> and she's like how is it and i'm like it's really good this episode's really happy i don't know what the next episode's gonna entail <laughs> and then she came back in like 20 minutes later when i was done and i was like staring at the ceiling and she's like Famous okay? last words. yeah and I i'm know. like i'm not okay i know and obviously like you know going into a season of bojack you expect that but they did kind of lull you into a false sense of feeling security. of security with this episode because really i mean like um, oh, this episode just, you know, ties up a lot of the loose threads throughout the season. You know, mm-hmm. Bojack has a really nice moment with each, um, of, the each of the main characters. characters. Yeah. And he's moving on to, like, a, a great new opportunity for him. So, yeah, I guess we'll just start kind of going through some of the specific things that we want to yeah. talk about. Yeah, so the epi- episode. episode starts with Bojack finally back at home. And the whole episode has him struggling with, like, you know, this home just reminds me of everything, every shitty thing I've ever done. And they have, like, little flashback, like, mm-hmm. like uh, he sees himself in every instance, yeah, um, which is really nice. And, like, he talks about that at his AA meetings, too. Yeah. And I really like Todd, who says, <laughs> your house reminds me of what an asshole you've been, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I really like how um, Bojack and Todd's relationship has, like, grown like that, where Todd will just, like, give snippet and remarks like that. Yeah, I know talked yeah. About it before. Yeah, and they're never going to be, I think, like, super close again. Mm-mm. But, like, they can hang out, you know, casually. And yeah. I feel like it works when they don't have, like, a codependent thing yeah. going on. And Todd still <laughs> refers to himself as Bojack's friend. Yeah. So I think yeah. it really is, like, a growth moment where Todd mm-hmm. isn't, like, um, de- like you said, he's not dependable on Bojack. Bojack's not like dependable on Todd and refuses to show it. Yeah, either. So, yeah. yeah, it's a it's a good thing. And the interesting thing they they might be doing with Todd next season is uh, the thing with his mom because we got uh-huh. some insight into his relationship with his mom um, earlier this season, and then in this episode he's like, uh-huh. you know, can you imagine that? Someone looks at me as a, <laughs> like, as a baby and said, like, oh, I will love him forever. What mm-hmm. happened? Right. It's like, oh, yeah. So I think that's probably, a, like, what we'll be seeing Todd doing in the rest of the show. And I think... Is, is maybe, yeah, something with that. Yeah, and I think if they go that route, I think they're, that's, like, a good opportunity for Bojack and Todd to kind of reconnect in that instance. Because yeah. as we've seen, Bojack is very good at, like... He's very empathetic as a character, yep. which, and he always has been, where he relates his trauma to other people, or he sees, like, yeah. like with everything. and um, Even if it's not right. Like, even if well, it's yeah. not right, he <laughs> relates to it. So, like, if Todd comes to him and is like, I'm, I, I had a bad relationship with my mom, he's like, bro, me too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, think, too. I think that could be really interesting for them to, like, share their experiences. Yeah. They've probably never spoken about that. They've never together. Spoken. They've never spoken. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, I agree. I think um I think there's some like good stuff going there. Yeah. But yeah. And then we get Judah and PC a little bit. Um mm-hmm. I wrote PC in my notes, and now I feel like I'm just going to be saying PC instead of Princess Carolyn a lot. But I'll, just, Judah, I'll say Princess Carolyn Judah to offset and Princess it. Princess Carolyn. Um, if you say Princess Carolyn, the podcast like lengthens. Like, yeah, times. we need to say PC to keep it short. Yeah, um, and I, I I love the part when he's going out and like the valet brings his bike around. I, I just him. think that's such a good joke. I love <laughs> I love Judah because at like when you first glance at him, he seems like such a douchebag college guy with yeah. like his bike in his 
hair bun and he probably smokes American spirits and he talks over the women in his like female literature class, but he's actually the best. He's a women's studies major. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's like a genuine women's studies major. <laughs> That's so true. No, he just yeah. wants to hear about other people's I love like Judah. perspectives. Yeah. And I'm so excited that he's going to be working with Princess Carolyn again. Yeah, I am too. Um, yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, that's like exactly where I would have wanted that to go. And like Princess Carolyn kind of decided how to balance her like you know home life with yeah. her job because she wants to do both, and you know she can. She just has to kind of figure out how to do that. Um, kind of. Is it okay if I jump ahead yeah. to when she talks to Bojack? Sure. Yeah. I know we were just talking about how like Bojack like is very empathetic and he can relate his mm-hmm. troubles to people, but I feel like he kind of. Not related, but he kind of, like, gave his own perspective to Princess Carolyn, and she kind of took it. Like, she's such a hardworking person. Yeah. And Bojack has always, like, kind of left the stuff to other people. Sure, And she's yeah. kind of, like, taking that as well from him. Like, like he says, you're the boss. You don't have to take everything upon yourself. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. you can give. Oh, and I think that's probably, like, a good reason why like judah is back is because oh, yeah. he's he, like he's so competent and she's someone that like he um uh that she can really trust yeah whereas i feel like she doesn't work with anyone else who she would feel comfortable like you know delegating stuff oh, to absolutely so, so like judah being back is like really good for her to be able to take a step back and be like i completely trust you know judah to make decisions oh absolutely without going to me about it even though that's why I fired him in the first place but whatever it's fine right right <laughs> she's learned since then. she's learned but yeah that's the thing is like she does everything herself yeah and God, she's finally learning just, yeah that still just kills me out oh, sorry the Judah thing I'll never be over that because he like even almost he almost told her like there's that once I'm just gonna go off with Judah no, for no, a second because there's that one scene when she she says something like oh at this point like if I was offered like you know to be bought out by like another company I'd probably say yes and I'd like hate myself for it or, or whatever she yeah. says like that and you can tell Judah's like about to say something and then he stops oh, and yeah, that's yeah. why and, and like that's why he doesn't tell her is right. because he knows that she that she like would feel like she'd have to say yes yeah but she doesn't want to and I'm like ah. I know. okay anyway Judah love Judah I love Judah <laughs> So then, Mr. Pe- we kind of go back to what Mr. Peanut Butter's little adventure going on with how he's the face of depression. Yep, going on like a national tour, being yeah. the face of depression. Right, and then they have um, he he talks to like he admits he's like doesn't really think he's depressed, and Joey's like, well, how can you know that? And uh, right, and he's like, you know, you could be depressed and just not know it. Right, <laughs> which I mean, yeah, it's like a thing for sure. Yeah. But and like whether or not Mr. Peanut Butter is depressed, I think it's very bookended very well because obviously Bojack has definitely dealt with depression. Diane is currently dealing yeah, with depression. Yeah, and she doesn't and then we get Mr. Peanut Butter, who like he could. I don't think he does, but I don't, yeah, it's uh, yeah. But he's like, like, like he's like. Seems very happy, and then, you know, Joey Pogue was like, oh, but the people who seem happy can yeah. actually be the most depressed. Right. Oh, no, I seem very happy. Right. It was just so funny. Which is funny. <laughs> I think, um, I definitely think Mr. Peanut Butter is a character that, like, hides any true emotions over happiness. Yeah, for sure. Under happiness, I mean. Yeah. yeah where he, like, needs to consistently right. be happy, which, yeah, like, that comes out with people with depression, but mm-hmm. whether or not he does, but, um. Yeah, and, and like, you know, regardless, it kind of seems like a like a commentary on um on self-diagnosing not even that as much as like i don't know this kind of culture of like claiming anything as like that's depression yeah. that's anxiety like i just think of this oh, party sure. i was at recently where people were just <sighs> telling me that i had depression and i was like i don't know you guys like right. they're like no jenny you have depression and i'm right. like i uh... <laughs> right like i don't know if we should yeah well it's such it's a difficult conversation because there's like a lot of time there's a lot of things where it's like oh yeah i relate to that with having depression and there's a lot of things where depression manifests itself very differently right with people yeah. And it's, and I mean, yeah, it's not just like, like their little commercial that they do where you're just like sad yeah. all of a sudden and everything's blue. Like sometimes it's not that. Some, yeah. Sometimes it is like you're manically happy for no reason. Right. And then you have like, you jump down into being a downer like the next minute. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's clear that it's at least about just like a very superficial like idea of right. like what, of what depression is, which is then contrasted with Diane. Right. Um, but what I was also going to say real yeah. quick was, like, what I like is, like, if you have this plot line, just this plot line specifically with Mr. Peanut Butter and Depression, like, in a different, like, kind of sitcom, where it's not, where they don't talk about mental health at all, it, mm-hmm. it would come off as a bad thing. It would come off as, like, 
like uh, oh like, uh, like a, poking fun yeah, at people poking who fun have at, yeah. depression oh for sure but, yeah but, but since this show is being bookended with diane's own experience of depression in the same exact episode and how they talk yeah. about mental health a lot in this series it doesn't come off as yeah it, it, yeah it's clear that they're not saying like oh like so many people think they have depression, depression they, when don't, they don't or whatever yeah. like yeah whatever the message like could be in right. a different show it's clear that it's not right exactly saying those kinds of things yeah, yeah. Anyway, but yeah, going on to Diane. Diane. Um, Yeah. So she admits, you know, to Bojack that she has depression when he sees her, mm -hmm. her, her apartment. Yeah. Yeah. She's been living and it's like, oh, oh dear, Diane. Oh dear, Diane. (laughs) No, it's like, the thing I really like about how Diane's like depression is manifesting itself is, and how her guy is like, you should really take these antidepressants is that's such a real fear that you're not going to be yourself. Yeah. Or like, you're going to be like kind of dumbed down to where like she says like i was on it before and i was so boring and or like yeah. you lose your creativity right and it, like and she's trying to write a book so right. she feels like she really needs to yeah have her full you know creativity and she thinks that's gonna be you know dampened if she yeah exactly and that's like a lot of people who go on antidepressants like i know i went through that too where it's like you feel like like what if this, like, I'm not who I am when I'm on these, or, like, this changes who I am as a person, and it's that struggle of realizing I'm not who I am right now with depression. Yeah. Um, That's true. Yeah. yeah. Um, I really like how they touched that on with her. Yeah, I thought that was good. And then, and then the kind of thing that Bojack says in that scene where he's like, um, I thought I was a thing that couldn't be changed. Yeah. Kind of plays into that Yeah, as yeah, well. yeah. Like, it's like, yeah, you can change. You can change who you are. You you don't have to feel like you have to stay the same person if it's not working for you. Right, right. <laughs> and I like that Bojack talks back to um the conversation he had with Doctor Champ and how he realizes like how dumb that is to put all the blame on himself, especially in this situation. Like, yeah, you should probably put some blame on yourself with like some of the other situations, Bojack. But like with the oh, Doctor sure. Champ thing, like yeah. for sure, like. <clears throat> and that would have like we mentioned that would have been the fuck of the series yeah. of the season yeah but um yeah, yeah. but it's just it's growth <laughs> it's growth it's growth yeah um yeah so i think that, like that conversation probably helps her decide that she yeah. should do this yeah and yeah. oh and then the other thing too it's like how he kind of wants to bojack is like i just kind of want to wake up in a different area each day and it's yeah. um and he first goes to diane as like and I noticed this rewatching it, how kind of at the beginning of the season, it's kind of a throwaway joke where he says he's making a list of people to apologize. And then he kind of has that sincere moment where he says, Carolyn. But then in this scene, he has a sincere, like, thank you to Diane instead yeah. of like an apology. And that's another thing that's like, they yeah, try to teach so you nice. in like therapy is saying thank you rather than I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought that was cool. Yeah. I really, I really like that. Yeah. Yeah. For him. So um, then Holly Hawk and like one of my favorite scenes of the season. So um, he goes and hangs out with Holly Hawk and like she's having a fight with one of her friends. Yeah. And, you know, Bojack like sort of thinks that he can offer like his, you know, wisdom into it. But it's clear that Holly Hawk, you know, doesn't need that, which also kind of plays into like what their relationship has always yeah. been like, where he kind of tried to be a dad, but it was clear that she didn't oh, need yeah, yeah, that yeah. Like, kind of influence because she already has eight dads or whatever. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but I really like that because her friend says like oh you know would it even matter if i apologize and bojack says like no words mean nothing and then and then holly hawk says yes you always do this thing where uh you don't think you can ever be forgiven so uh so you don't apologize but i can't forgive you if you don't say you're sorry and then they both apologize and say they love each other and and, and it's like so easy and then bojack's like that's it (laughs) right i love that entire scene i think the other thing with that scene too is like it's hard for bojack to comprehend that because i mean they just have like a little petty fight where um holly hawk feels like okay yeah you're i I know you have to switch majors i know you're stressed but you forgot about like i was going to dinner i feel like you don't think about my feelings as opposed to stuff bojack is carrying like right that's some heavier stuff yeah yeah for sure but probably can't be so easily wrapped up right but i think in that scene bojack kind of realizes like yeah he's going through heavier stuff but like saying i'm sorry sincerely right does actually is a good first step at least yeah for sure yeah and i think like it's so clear that like that's you know gonna be a big part of you know the rest of this episode but then also like 
you know, going into next season. Yeah, is like how sure. How is he going to start to make amends for right. all these things? It's, and he's been avoiding, like, like that's a big habit he has, is to avoid the people that he's wronged. Right. With Herb and with, and, uh, with Kelsey. Um, you know, he's just like, I am never going to, you know, see them again. Um, right. When he should have just reached out and, like, taken the first step. So. Especially with, like, this idea of, like, just apologizing and, like... Um, if they go into like kind of like a me too kind of area that brings into yeah. this idea <laughs> of like what do you say when somebody who has wronged you or does apologize right and how yeah. do you move on from that yeah so, it's yeah. gonna be a it's gonna lot. be crazy it's gonna be crazy <laughs> we're gonna go crazy um <laughs> So, and then we kind of touched on this, but the scene with Bojack and Princess Carolyn and Uncle Bojack. Um, I love, like, you know, he gives that painting to Princess Carolyn and oh, Ruthie. Yeah. And it's like, oh, it's based on, like, the Narcissus myth. And he's like, Narcissus? I thought I thought the painting was about me. <laughs> <laughs> I also, um, that scene has, like, a lot of good scenes, especially the, oh, shit, it walks already? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, um, a child. <laughs> right. No, I, I like that scene a lot, and I hope to see more, like, uh, interactions with Ruthie and um, Bojack, too. For sure. Yeah. Um, and then Bojack gets the drama professor job at Wesleyan, which is nice um, yeah. for him for now, until, of course, he's going to, like, lose it immediately Probably. next season, but yeah. that's fine. For now, I'm very happy for him. Um, uh, Sharona and and uh, Bojack have a little, you know, reconciliation, and he he apologizes like she's kind of like it's fine like we'll just brush past it yeah but he like makes a point of just saying like i'm, I'm sorry. sorry like yeah. as per you know holly hawks um advice um advice and kind of what he saw her do earlier yeah and it it works pretty well like they they kind of you know reconcile and then yeah and she gives them a haircut and yeah and unveils he, his new look his on his gray hair and he <laughs> finally is like he doesn't die and he finally like looks like his age and that's the funny thing is like right before the scene i was watching sharona and especially when it goes back to like the flashback with him and yeah. sharona i'm like they're around the same age so why does sharona look so much older and then they immediately cut to, yeah like, yeah her cutting her hair i'm like oh that's why because he fucking yeah. dyes his hair yeah that was kind of a good touch of <laughs> it like, was yeah he is like in his 50s so. yeah yeah so yeah um and then going to Mr. Peanut Butter. And the crossover episode. This was so cute. This for was real. a very soft moment, especially yeah. with like a joke that's been going on since like the first episode. Yeah, literally the very first episode. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is such like, you know, um, season finale or like, you know, series finale like type of shit it to really like is. wrap up all these things in a way like it's so heartwarming. But of course, like that's not what the show is like right. doing is just going to wrap everything up in a neat bow and be like, there you go. There's what you expected. Um, but I kind of love that we still get it, even though it's like like kind of a fake out because obviously it's not the end for these characters right exactly um, but yeah that was such a cute moment it was it was a really cute moment and it really brought into attention like how we were saying how like mr peanut butter does really look up to like bojack and he does consider him yeah. a good friend yeah and just like something like that really touched him yeah. um and even then like leading to it bojack's the one to initiate it and he like makes like a comment how like oh yeah of course mr peanut butter has like his whole set in that museum instead of just like Bojack's sweater, like as oh, compared to that, yeah. he's like, oh, that rap. He's like, that pans out. But he <laughs> yeah. doesn't like. He's not like super petty about it. How you would be, you normally. Right. Yeah. He doesn't get like competitive or yeah, exactly. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that is. And uh, Mr. Peanut Butter and Pickles resolve their issues um, so for now, I guess, yeah. and <laughs> decide to put it behind them. So it's kind of interesting to see how how that pans out with the two of them in the rest of the show well they don't they decide that she should sleep with joey wait what is what no yeah isn't it because she was joey. like i wish i could just cheat on you with you and then it pans to joey pogo in the closet being a dumbass and he doesn't he say like i think i know somebody or something because joey pogo is very similar to mr peanut butter isn't that the implication I did not get that implication at all, but maybe. my I thought that they were just going to get back together at that point and, oh, like, stop I trying thought, to... I thought he was suggesting she should sleep with Joey. <laughs> I can... Will we watch it after this? Oh, that's interesting. No, I can see what you mean now. Yeah. Because well, now I'm feeling dumb. I thought that was what the implication was. I thought the implication was just, like, like, oh, uh, like, I just want to stop, like, 
you know, trying to get even and get back together. Then with why you. would it show Joey Pogo? There? Well, that's what I'm wondering now. Well, oh, I thought. Uh, well, well, I thought that was because I was like that was kind of weird that they just panned over to him. I thought he was just there being a dumbass. I mean, he is, and I thought it was like to show like oh, he's similar to Mr. Peanut Butter, and very that he's well, like, yep. you should cheat on me with Joey because you very well might be right. That's um not surprising at all. <laughs> um, they're so dumb. They are. Um. Uh, so, okay, so maybe okay, they'll... Okay, like, I have to rewatch that scene And they're now, closer in age. like I'm stupid. I feel like I'm stupid now. Well, no, We're both no, stupid. you're not stupid. I've... One of us is right, or well, maybe neither of us is right. here's the thing. This storyline's not very interesting, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, like, I don't really care. Well, yeah, um, but if they do go that way, like you said, they're closer to they're age. They're closer to so, age, so maybe they'll just end up together. Yeah, yeah I don't see pickles that would be funny. up with Mr. Peanut Butter. Yeah, no, I think that would be... That would be very, like, um... Like, that would just go against what his and like what his arc has been if he like ended up like happily married to pickles at the end you know yeah i think mr peanut butter's arc is kind of like wrapping up for him to be happy with just by being by himself yeah. oh yeah i think so for sure because he needs to kind of yeah. stop like the cycle of what he's been doing and everything. yeah exactly so, yeah yeah so um and the scene with like where it goes to guys back in Chicago and mm-hmm. Diane's waiting for him and she's clearly back on her antidepressant or starting her antidepressants and I just that scene is yeah I really liked that and how yeah. they kind of revealed that you know by the fact that she had gained some weight yeah. and she said that it had made her you know gain weight previously and stuff so I, I think, thought that was a very good way to to do that I agree and I think it's such a strong moment too because like obviously she's scared um for going on here but even then she looks healthier and like, yeah yeah she's like glowing right it is yeah and it's like that's such a thing in media where if a character gains weight it's yeah, deemed it's as a, a bad, bad thing, thing. Yeah. but this is deemed as a healthy thing right yeah i think that's a really good like moment i think i had seen like some people uh say like i've never seen like any yeah. like fiction frame a character gaining weight as like a good healthy yeah thing. Exactly. i'm sure there's other shows that have done it but I'm not sure, i can't but think not of a lot there's more often than not if there's one show that does it good there's five other things where a girl is um oh for sure fat and they like the ha- they make her have like a glow up where she either loses weight yeah. or she gets like super pretty fight by the end of the movie or something yeah that's definitely what most yeah most things so are it's really nice to see that i thought that was nice. yeah that yeah. was that was well done and mm-hmm. I, I like that it seems like it's probably just going to be her permanent like way of yeah, because being now because they updated how she looked in like the intro in, in the intro. And well, stuff, they so. didn't update Bojack's look in the intro either. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. They didn't give him gray hair. Nope. Um, yeah. Um, then uh, Bojack ends up at this like old horse town thing, and I just love the scenes where it's like these are our themes. Do you get it? And yes. they just like outright say them. Yeah. So like the horse minister guy is like, you know, it's only after we show our, we show ourselves mercy that we are at peace. Um, Wait, yeah. And then he like, you know, says peace be with you to all the other horses. He's like literally, literally. making his peace with other horses. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, yeah. Okay, we get it. <laughs> right. Exactly. Um, but yeah, that was like, that was kind of a nice scene, but I also think that like that is kind of interesting. Cause I feel like almost like the second time watching it, I almost feel like that was like a critique. Like, cause I feel like, you know, Bojack is, is at this point where he's forgiving himself. Yeah. And I feel like what through what we're getting now is like, that's not enough. Like yeah. you've hurt people and you need to take, like you need no, to no, be held absolutely. accountable for it. And so, I think like yeah. the next episode kind of frames it that way too. Yeah. Or, like, yeah, because it's kind of interesting. Because like you know, we've been rooting for Bojack to like, man, your life would like you would you would be better if you just like let some stuff go and yeah. just forgave yourself for stuff. Um, and now he's finally there, and now it's like swooping in with the consequences. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is like, yeah, like you said, like I feel like throughout the whole sh- show run, it's hard, it gets hard to root for Bojack, but you want him to like forgive himself and like move past it, yeah. and you hope him forgiving and moving past it leads him to make less mistakes right but he just kept tumbling down more and more and he has this cycle and he has like this almost war-ridden path of casualties that he is knocked out (laughs) and and you're just like just like it's it's hard it becomes hard to root for him so like when he's finally is forgiving yourself and then you're like well you also have this whole path right where you might have forgiven them but it got, that again comes to the point where do they forgive you right yeah and like, do they do you deserve their forgiveness uh-huh. um which but, brings us into 
episode eight. eight. <laughs> so something immediately I noticed um, after finishing this episode was none of the main characters are in this episode. Yeah, yeah. And I, um, yeah, I don't think I noticed until the end that they were even, um, you know, doing that. Yeah. Like, I think sometimes with, like, BoJack episodes, like, you can kind of pick up on, like, oh, they're doing this, like, you know, special thing. Like, I know, like, with, like, Free Churro, like, a few minutes yeah. ago, I was like, this whole episode's oh, gonna yeah, be yeah, yeah, yeah. the eulogy, and I was, like, flipping out. Yeah. Um, but with this one, like, I, re- I really didn't notice until the end that, like, the, um, uh, that they were doing an episode that was only yeah. the side characters. And it's, like, um, a nice, like, yeah. parallel to, um, previous episode we see like a nice kind of end all be all from the main cast but this one is kind of like where are they now kind of thing almost. yeah yeah for sure like like all right so that all seemed nice but like what about all the collateral damage yeah and exactly all the people that have How kind are of they? that aren't getting a nice like tied up you yeah. know storyline which i think is just really cool and it, and it does kind of show like how strong like some of the side characters are yeah. that i was never like where where the main characters are right. on board or anything because it was like yeah i really like you know seeing uh you know kelsey mm-hmm. and um even some of the newer ones like gina i was like yeah i want to yeah. yeah it's cool the <laughs> other thing too is like there's that sense of almost dread anxiety because all these characters they all are connected through bojack hurting yeah. them and they're all this close to connecting or to interacting like kelsey's in the restaurant with the detectives kelsey is yeah. about to bring gina onto her project right, yeah Holly Hawk is talking to P- repeat pete about penny yeah like they're all like this close yeah, and it all comes to a head really cool. at the end of the episode yeah, yeah um but so we'll kind of talk about like yeah we'll, we'll kind character. of talk about each of the each of the characters and yeah. there's kind of i guess four like main things so kelsey um it's shown that her her career has really suffered. She's like, you know, directing commercials for yeah. Chicken for Days or something. Yeah, Chicken for Days. Which is like extra, like ironic since she like. Oh kind yeah, of yeah, that was that whole episode. In, like, sort of what a bad like company they were, which is still one of like the weirdest and like almost episodes. darkest episodes of BoJack in a way because it's like the chickens are people. That's the funniest <laughs> episode to me because you, whenever I watch like shows or media that has anthropomorphic animals, I'm always like, what do they do? with like what do they like consume yeah. yeah i'm like how yeah. do they do this so for They're them like, to like we'll directly tell you, yeah you're not gonna talk like about it, it yeah. no, that was, <laughs> is really funny the whole but, thing yeah and uh, uh rutabaga is in this as well which is oh, kind of yeah. fun to see him around again yeah and like you know um kelsey's whole like kind of storyline is how she's the only one who has suffered from breaking into the nixon library even though other people were with her even though bojack was with her yeah and a lot of it you know is referential to um her being a woman and how there are sure yeah exactly and she talks directly about this like when she when she comes back to re-give her pitch for the female superhero like um women save the day but um she's not going to be praised for that she's going to be resented for that she's going right. to be hated for that because the rules the are, rules different are different for women yeah and and also and in my version she's gay bye yeah that was such a great <laughs> a great moment for Kelsey. yeah <laughs> um but and it's true because like and i think that's the other thing is a lot of these characters that um bojack have hurt are women yep and yep. they get the shorter end of the stick uh-huh. and it's it's i like that they're They've always referenced Bojack getting, um, getting away with stuff like this because he's famous, but also there's that sense of because he's also a man. Yeah, yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, um, yeah, that's really interesting because yeah, really all of these, all the characters that are featured here, you know, Sarah and Kelsey, Gina. Yeah. Uh, Penny, yeah, they're all. Yeah, they're I had to women. do a quick one through, but yes, they are indeed. They are yeah, they are women because like the, <laughs> all the main characters besides her that he's hurt, yeah. he are women and um. And uh, that's something I noticed, like, yeah, last season, yeah. I think, like, the last episode they changed the theme song for, and I noticed uh-huh. right away they took Gina out, but then when I rewatched it, I noticed they took all the women out. Like, if oh. you go back, Princess Carolyn's not there, Diane's not there, any women... I... Wait, wait, at the end of episode, or at the beginning of episode eight, or uh, seven? Which one? Uh, not, not for this season, last season, last season. Oh, last season? Yeah, yeah. Not for this season. Wait, which episode? Um, towards the end of last season, last season five, after he strangles Jaina. Oh, okay. Like the episode after that, so like the last episode, the theme song oh. took out all the women. Oh. Because I noticed right away that Gina, Gina wasn't in the theme in song, yeah. but then when I rewatched it, I noticed all the women are gone. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. 
okay okay yeah. okay okay, cool. okay okay yeah so i feel like this idea of like yeah the sexism and this violence against women has always been an underlying theme yeah so yeah 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 yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah so then gina is like really having problems like her ptsd mm-hmm. and this like leads everyone to think that she's just really hard to work with and really like full of herself yeah um because she doesn't want to say like why she's reacting this way right. because she doesn't want her career to be like defined by like what right you know, what bojack did as and she said last um last season last season but at a certain point it's like yeah maybe you do need to right and that's explain. the irony of yeah. it is like maybe it's you not do need helping to yeah talk about this um and i mean it probably will end up with her talking about it yeah. too um oh, the thing sure. is too i think if the i think it's kind of like obviously she's struggling with her ptsd with it but i think there's also is a part of like her being like like i'm finally a hollywood star because yeah last season yeah she was kind of really getting wanted into her that. Career, yeah, yeah exactly exactly so i yeah. i feel like there's a sense of selfishness underneath that's just getting heightened with it not to yeah. say that no I it's mean. all yeah like, or like the fact that like the or like her the reasons why she's like doing this are like like completely like, on for yeah yeah like, like for her career and for that and like for like she shouldn't have to right exactly like, suffer alone just because she wants to like be a movie star you know <laughs> yeah no 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 i totally understand yeah. yeah yeah um and then the the fuck was in this episode it was and i really yeah i really liked how they did that where the actor that she was working with when she kind of you know freaked out said what the fuck is wrong with you which obviously was the same line that gina sent to bojack yeah last season so that was that was good this <laughs> this, this is so this like flip around is really interesting because it really kind of shows how a lot of the times the victim is deemed as the problem yeah because she's obviously like we just talked about struggling with her ptsd with this Mm -hmm. and when she acts out because of it or because she can't finish a scene she's deemed as problematic she's deemed as what the fuck is wrong with you right yeah where she doesn't really deserve that (laughs) yeah yeah and 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 if people understood like where she was coming from it'd probably be easier right exactly yeah but right exactly yeah just the way that it like manifests yeah yeah i was kind of thinking too i don't know if this is like completely connected or if this was um intentional but um when she's initially talking to the director and like her trailer and she's like obviously she doesn't like surprises obviously she's like why did you do this why did you do give me new pages i don't want new pages but that made me think of like um the initial scene leading up to like the strangling um strangling uh, where they are that whole episode is them working on different pages and there's new pages coming out and they don't you know what i'm talking about oh, yeah all? where like that's it, it it probably made her think of like how this is how film yeah. was run was like there was always surprises there's always new pages yeah they were changing things and that's constantly. probably kind of what gave her like a bad feeling yeah about, yeah like, exactly yeah we're not gonna be prepared right it's gonna yeah yeah be surprises on set yeah and then yeah. obviously like when the guy like you know puts um his hand on her neck that's kind of what right what triggers yeah, what it. triggers it yeah um so yeah like really direct um kind of trauma yeah. from that um, right exactly but yeah 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 i don't know i really hope actually that because it hints at like kelsey asking you know like is gina good to work with and she doesn't want drama on her set obviously since because of bojack Mm -hmm. um or like because she's seen how that works but i really actually hope she brings gina on and maybe they can kind of that could be another way like i was saying how like two characters connect like I'm like this because if like Gina like would explain yeah, to they like could work I, together really yeah well. and yeah. I feel like Gina as a character could maybe explain to even a female director you know I'm like this because of something that happened on set with a male yeah and it doesn't have to be it, like yeah you know, not everyone has to know right exactly it can just be like between a director that she trusts exactly because yeah, ke- sure. like Bojack fucked Kelsey's career over and he didn't stand up for her like how he didn't stand up for her mm-hmm. but. I also feel like the situation with Kelsey, like, wasn't completely Bojack's fault. Yeah, well, the situation with Herb wasn't completely... Gina? His... Oh, wait. With Herb wasn't completely oh, Herb. his fault oh, either. Oh, yeah, 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 I agree, too. Yeah, because, like, it's just, like, there were circumstances, um, and he could have, you know, stood up for them. But I think, I think the situation with, like, both of them was not so much that them getting fired was, like, 
his fault directly, but that he never reached out to them afterwards. Because yeah, that's what Herb that's says. True. And then he kind of realizes that when he sees, you know, Kelsey, Kelsey. he's like, oh shit, I really yeah, should have yeah, right. apologized. I should have reached out. And he, uh, when he's writing those, um, you know, letters to her that, um, like, none of them actually make it to her ever. But yeah. he's like, you know, like, I wanted to. Uh, I don't remember exactly what he says, but like I know I should have, you know, reached, reached out, out to you sooner and stuff, because that yeah, that was more so the problem was, you know, because Herb's like I'm not mad that I got fired, like you know, Bojack probably couldn't have really done anything about that. Yeah. he could have gotten them both fired, but like you know, well, it wouldn't have been that successful. But I but, think that's the yeah, thing Kelsey he lost a friend. Wanted. Yeah. yeah, was um well, I think that's the thing Kelsey wanted was like see some repercussions for Bojack too. Well, since she, well, yeah, well, since she got you know repercussions, but yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, and just like I mean, they were friends before. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like they got along pretty well. And yeah, stuff. You're so right, it was kind yeah. of just like that, you know, personal betrayal was more right. so what hurt rather than the professional. Like, okay, you know, right, should yeah, happens, right. you lose your job, whatever, you know. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Um, but anyway, anyway, tangent. Um, so then there's like the um, old Hollywood like reporters, which <laughs> I just think they're kind of funny. Yeah, they're pretty um, funny, and the kind of ways that they go back and forth and they get a yeah. lot of. A, a lot of lines in are like the one like you know this guy couldn't um uh this guy couldn't string together two clauses without, <laughs> without ending on a preposition he says i don't know what you're referring to <laughs> yeah <laughs> um and i i like i like that we have like these like hollywood type reporters like who are like kind of like stuck in this old age like yeah how they yeah talk. yeah it's like, like old hollywood yeah yeah old newsies kind of thing and how they're kind of digging into Sarolyn's death um um the one thing is um with Sarolyn's mom I think I don't ever think it frames it as like I like how they do this they never frame Sarolyn's mother as you should give her your um empathy because she was a shitty mom (laughs) yeah (laughs) and it's clear that Sarolyn did not like have a good relationship with her mother and she was right. at least emotionally abusive to her especially yeah. within like her last voicemail you can see that and it's always it's been clear that Sarah Lynn's mother just cared about um like the money and the, yeah, yeah exactly game. exactly yeah. um yeah for sure so like um they listen to like the voicemail that Sarah Lynn left to her yeah. mom and uh they pick up on you know she says we're making amends so they know that there's another person that was involved so they kind of started tracking down that so then they go to um uh to like the aa meeting Mm -hmm. where sarah lynn was spotted and they don't find out like that it was bojack from that but they find out that um uh, that penny carson was involved in something to do with this mysterious man right um and i just oh the way that was brought up i was just screaming oh i know yeah he seemed almost proud of it he said like that's her real name you can look at you can look her up because he wants to get caught yeah yeah and i'm like yeah was that just bojack being like i want some consequences because he was so like haunted by that he kind of wanted to talk about it with someone um and it just kind of kept you know cropping up and maybe at that moment he was just like ah oh, yeah i don't care the um so i just kind of, thought you know, of self destructive right tendency. yeah it really is a self destructive tendency of his but like it's almost one he really wants to welcome to he yeah. wants to happen um the thing i was just thinking of um how many years has it been since sarah lynn died do we know? Oh, uh, he like even says like it's been so many years because oh shoot I don't know. Well, because what I was thinking was he goes to Penny's college. Oh, and how I old was, Penny is now? Yeah, because that... I was trying to think because they they're they're found in oh. New Mexico. So are they gonna go to Penny or are they gonna go to Charlotte? Because if they go to Charlotte, oh Bojack's fucking dead. Bojack's dead. <laughs> Charlotte the will... show ends with, Bo- with Charlotte actually killing Bojack. Yeah, like that's how the show fucking ends. <laughs> okay, you're right. Well, because okay, because pete when they see pete uh later he he says something about like oh like i didn't drink th- like throughout all of college so they're at least so, like you know graduated from college yeah so, so so it's penny could be back four, at home four or five years yeah so she could be back at she home could be back or... living in new mexico or she could be she went to school on like the east coast right or, yeah yeah she went yeah, uh, i can't remember somewhere east coast. oklahoma i think no, 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 it was, oh, Ohio. <laughs> but but that's not where her school was. They were, like, driving through Ohio oh, on the way to... It was a snowy place. It was somewhere that has Yeah, snow. I think it was on the East Coast, like, northern, yeah, like, New England or something. Probably, <laughs> well, yeah, maybe even close to where, um, uh, to where Hollyhock is, somewhere in that part of 
the country. It I wasn't in Connecticut. It wasn't, was it? but no, it was somewhere. I don't know. It was somewhere around there, though, I think. I'm going to yeah, it, it was definitely this because it's going to bother me. Uh, but yeah, because that's what I was like, oh, they might just go straight to Charlotte or like oh, God, find yeah. Penny under Charlotte's name and go to her house. And right. then shit's going to hit Well, they them. have the last name they can figure out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's Where's the Carson family? And, right. Yeah. Oh, it. God. Char- Charlotte comes back. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, jeez. Yeah. That's, oh, that's rough. So, yeah. And then, of course, of course, the Hollyhock plot that's kind of sprinkled throughout the episode but mm-hmm. she she's really nervous about drinking for the first time um she like wants to but she's just nervous about losing control yeah um so she doesn't want to do it in front of people that she knows uh, which is kind of interesting but i guess i understand that impulse to yeah. be like i don't want to lose control in front of people that i know <laughs> i think the other thing too is like she's very she she knows that alcoholism is an issue within her family yeah. um her biological family but and she knows that it can run genetically but i think she also is like she wants she doesn't want to see it as something to be afraid of right she just kind of wants to have like a normal you a know, normal college, college experience. experience yeah yeah for sure so, um so she kind of ends up having like a panic attack that's sort of similar to what happens to bojack um in the first episode of yeah. the season when he's at the party um which leads her to meet pete they did this so well and i didn't realize oh like you said you realized right i noticed away. it yeah. right away because um just like pete's voice like specifically i was like Holy yeah sh-. i was like wait wait a second and the whole yeah. time i was like wait a second wait a second and he starts telling the story and i'm like no no holy shit i honestly didn't realize until until he started telling the story who, oh, yeah. who it was yeah um yeah i don't know like i i haven't rewatched uh the show in a minute so maybe uh, i don't know but and um he has a beard now so he looks a little bit different but yeah, yeah. yeah. and then i was like oh i recognize his voice right away i don't yeah, know he why does have but a pretty like, distinctive and then voice. when he said my name's peter i was like repeat pete <laughs> oh yeah god yeah um yeah i didn't i honestly didn't get like any of that but obviously like looking back i'm team like, yeah. noticed it was pete right away they were they were not trying to really pull a fast one on you but it was like you know subtle enough it was subtle enough you could miss it uh, yeah um, yeah um so who yeah he starts yeah. telling that story and it's just like ah, i know ah, i know ah. i like this outsider perspective too mm-hmm. on it just yeah like, yeah like, i really like his perspective on it i think it's yeah. really interesting that like he as a teen he didn't realize that what was going on was like super weird yeah but now as an adult like looking, looking back, back he was like that man like shouldn't have been going to prom with us and yeah. buying us alcohol right um like that was fucked up yeah um which i think is like really you know realistic to be it like is. i didn't i didn't realize i was i was like 16 or right, and that's how old are kids when they go to prom i guess it's their senior or junior year so uh it was 16, 17 17 yeah oh yeah oh yeah how could we forget <laughs> <laughs> well i'm but i was also like young for my class because i was yeah. born in the summer so yeah. uh, some people are even 18 yeah, at that time 18. yeah if um, it's your last year. yeah so anyway but, but ooh, yeah and then just the the way that he kind of tells her like partially it's just for um you know suspense on the part of the audience but it is so interesting how he pauses for such a long time yeah. before he says like the name of the person that it was and, and holly hawk has to say again who is he right like I thought that was Ooh, really She must just have the worst feeling in, like, the I pit of know. her stomach at that moment. Because she's probably like, oh. Well, fuck. and I think Ricky, I think Peter also kind of notices might, this. Yeah. Because, I mean, Hollyhock already said, like, a lot of people say she looks like Bojack. And while he he might not make that connection, he's probably like, well, she's a horse. She's a horse, yeah. Yeah, and he says it's, it's a, it was a horse, right? Does he say that or not? No, he just okay, says he man. Yeah, okay. It was a weird man. Um, he weird doesn't, man. And but, she's like, that sounds like my brother. Yeah. <laughs> was it my brother? <laughs> um, oh, boy. So, so, and yeah, just like the who is he, like, and it just ended yeah. on that. Um, oh, what a gut punch. It'd be really funny yeah. if he was like, sorry, I don't remember his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just cuts back to that in January. And, you're, and he's like, I can't remember his name. Or he, like, chooses not to say it, even. Yeah. I mean, I think it's pretty clear that he's gonna tell her yeah. um which then is like how is hollyhock gonna react yeah i think that's because the biggest she's thing. still like she doesn't know from that story 
She doesn't know the worst thing that Bojack did, though. Oh, shit. Like, she just knows that he went to a weird prom with some kids and gave him booze. And she's like, yeah, that's weird, but that sounds like my brother. Yeah, she doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't know that he I can almost see it. slept with a 17-year-old I can girl. see it panning out to yeah. where she starts telling Bojack, I know what you did in New oh, Mexico. Yeah. And he accidentally admits to it. Yeah. And that becomes a whole thing. Yeah. I can see it happening that way. I could see it. I mean, this could really go down in so many different ways because, like, there's all... Which I really like, the yeah. fact that it could, like... Oh, because there's these, you know, there's these detectives that are now, now on in New Mexico. Sarah Lynn's and case. one other thing that I want to bring up yeah. um, that I think will be important is that um, when he showed up to Penny's school yeah. with... Sarah oh, Lynn, no! people took pictures of them together at Penny School. So I think that's going to become really important oh, because they were spotted together, no. whatever, a month, a couple weeks before she died at Penny School. So that's going to like really bring the threads together. Um, like they're going to dig yeah. into some some college students like Facebook page and find that yeah. um, and piece it together like you know bringing bringing all like all those threads together yeah. and then i think like probably like the sarah lynn thing is gonna go public first and then that's gonna bring like yeah. gina and like kelsey are, are then gonna come forward right. and talk about what happened to them yeah and then have to see like if you know will penny you know publicly come forward now that she's more of an adult and talk about what happened to her i think i think as characters charlotte won't want it to be public but who's yeah. to say, I don't know what, what Penny would want. Yeah. Because yeah. there's, yeah. when we see Penny years later, because the thing is, Penny does initiate it, but she's also a child. Yeah, she, yeah, and, yeah. And Bojack continues with it as an adult. Right, yeah. And when we see it years later, her sp- perspective realizes she Yeah, and she, she didn't, says, like, I was a, I didn't, I was a, I I, didn't, yeah. I wasn't in the wrong. She obviously has gone to therapy for it. She's obviously has, like, talked about it. And right. she realizes she's the victim in this yeah, situation. Yeah, and she just really wants to move on and Right, everything. exactly, and, exactly. Yeah, so it's probably going to be, like, super painful for her if it comes out kind of, like, against her will in any way. Yeah. Um that like yeah i could see it like getting torn against oh torn away from her too um and people like um coming forward with it like on her behalf yeah but like also that's kind of interesting because like who else like knows about it like charlotte penny her friends didn't seem to know about it yeah um i mean also it would have been weird if she if that guy told some random girl at a party if he didn't know about it right but they probably wouldn't you know you know they wouldn't go to a reporter yeah. with it um i think that actually like bojack might be the one that would Ooh. volunteer that information he already has because <laughs> he i mean he already has so like there's yeah. the people at the rehab place that are not the rehab like the aa i think that knew about that i think bojack um, would sort of i think bojack would talk about it but i think at this point in time with his character i think he would have half the mind to know not to right not or to he like, would almost yeah. say it but someone like princess carol or somebody would be like don't yeah. say their name right because yeah. they still have they should still have that privacy to right. them yeah um Charlotte's gonna kill Bojack. Charlotte, the, now this is my new theory for. Oh, this has been my theory. <laughs> you know, I used to. I had this. I made this meme a long time ago. Jenny knows this, where it was like, you know, those things where it's like a uh, two picture po- folders, and it was like, I think I did this during season mm-hmm. four, and it was like Bojack ends with uh, Bojack dying. Bojack ends with Bojack not dying. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a third one that says Bojack ends with Charlotte killing him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> memes for when Bojack ends with Charlotte kills him. <laughs> yeah, that's really. I mean, obviously, our only two options are he dies or he doesn't die. And then <laughs> under the un- under the you know he dies umbrella, it's like Charlotte kills him. Charlotte kills or him or something else. <laughs> um, yeah, no, because I can see that panning out <laughs> i think i i i wouldn't think i don't really seriously i don't like, seriously cause, yeah. think they're gonna cause a death on screen but charlotte would be livid she yeah, would be on i Warpath. think that charlotte would come will come back oh absolutely because i just yeah i think that would be like oof. yeah she yeah. she has to come back yeah um the other question is like who will say fuck yeah um, if it's hollyhock I will, will I survive? Kill myself. I will not survive. Holly Hawk is not allowed to say fuck. Holly Hawk illegally cannot say fuck. <laughs> um, no, and I. But the thing is, I think a lot of it is, 
while I'm interested with how Bojack's going to handle it when all this comes to the front, because yeah. it's going to. Oh, yeah. I want to know how the other characters are yeah. and if they're going to stand yep. in Bojack's corner. Princess Carol and Diane. Because butter, we've already seen Todd. Diane not stand in Bojack's corner when she found out about Penny. Yeah. Yeah. She already pushed him, threw him under the bus. Yeah. Which, I mean, was valid. Right. Yeah. But I think that she will because i think like what they've been through like she she already knows like yeah. a lot of she already knows pretty much everything that's gonna come out yeah she knows everything that's yeah because she knows of, about gina right yeah yeah, yeah. so but, she knows about all of it right but wait and she's so, still his friend diane's the only one who knows about penny though she's the right? only one that knows about in the penny. main yeah, cast in the main cast yeah yeah which yeah. is it's just an interesting position for her to be in to be like yeah to be like a well-known feminist and now to be like publicly Ooh, friends and associated friends with, with, with Bojack, Bojack and to have to have it like is is she gonna like you know stand with him yeah is she I, stand with, with, yeah, I stand, stand with hashtag I stand with Bojack yeah. or is she gonna yeah because I think like you know personally I think she will yeah she will you know yeah. still still support him but yeah kind of like publicly there's that other yeah dilemma. she's like sorry Bojack we can't be seen in public together anymore right honestly <laughs> um yeah not I mean I guess well, she's writing a book, so I guess she has some kind of right. still situation going on. But and, but the other thing is, and I I really I have faith in. I you mentioned this earlier, but um, this it's obviously going to go into like a Me Too kind of area yeah, for sure. And if any me- piece of media is going to go into a Me Too area where we're kind of almost supposed to sympathize with who is being Me Tooed, yeah, <laughs> um, the man basically, the man. Uh-huh. Um, you kind of do feel some sort of empathy for Bojack. Oh yeah, and I think like we're we're supposed to, and yeah. you know, I, like I, like I don't think it's that like simple where it's like, oh, you're not supposed to empathize with right. Bojack. Like, no, I think yeah, but the you thing, are. Um, but the thing is, and I think I I feel like this is where they would go with it, and it just as like a like a self criticism for mm-hmm. media and how we consume media and the people who are called out in this way i really feel like there's gonna be a lot of pop people in the population who don't care who's gonna be like well bojack's done a lot of good things and that's what's gonna piss bojack off you're right he's gonna get mad about that oh you're so right i didn't even like think about that oh oh, absolutely i really think that it all well, like similar to what already happened, like with Sarah Lynn, like they're gonna reveal like he was with her when she died or yeah. whatever, and people are gonna be like, well, she was just an addict and she was gonna yeah, die yeah, anyway. yeah, they're gonna make and excuses. then they'll have Penny and they'll be like, well, she was you know the age of consent was seventeen, yeah, and also like I heard like she probably initiated it, like he was famous and rich and whatever, and like, right? No, that's such a good point, and then he's gonna get pissed off. Yeah, I really can see it yeah. going that way because like yeah, let's be honest, I think, like. I think Bojack would handle that like really well as like a topic yeah yeah Yeah, because I feel like there is like there's definitely that area where Mm -hmm. when people like are can't hashtag canceled a lot of people come out of the woodworks and are like no I think I think they're okay or like you know there's like a lot of that was a long time ago or yeah exactly and it's (laughs) like and I feel like I don't see Bojack Horseman at the show doing yeah. this topic without discussing that. Yeah. I really no, don't. Yeah, I hadn't really even like yeah. thought of that, but yeah, I think you're a hundred percent right that that's that's gonna be a topic. Right. Um and I mean, yeah, they have like eight whole episodes to explore the fallout of this. Right, exactly. Ah! <laughs> so yeah. Um I'm, Yeah. I, and like kind of how it will how it will happen and how everyone will react and yeah. then like what the eventual conclusion and conclusion will, will be. be which will be really interesting mm. and yeah I, yeah this was like this was this was like it's it feels like a curveball even though it like shouldn't be right because yeah. like yeah this like like once you see it, you're like this is kind of the only like logical you know conclusion is that all of this would come forward right and i think that's the thing is like it feels like a curveball because throughout the entire show we see bojack like sidestep consequences yep. constantly yeah. so it seems like it's like kind of the the anti-ex machina yeah you know what i mean right like when something happens and it's out of the like sort of out of the blue but it's not it's good. not good <laughs> it's not yeah convenient. exactly yeah, yeah yeah so um because yeah like i said like he, he always like comes out okay-ish and sure. just continues to fuck up but none of them come to a head like yeah. it's going to which is where i really think they need to end the show 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, and like I still I still sort of think that everything's gonna be like more or less okay. Mm-hmm. Um, in the end for Bojack, like I I can't see them like ending it with like his death if it was like super tragic. Um, yeah. whether it was like a suicide or like a drug overdose, like I don't, I don't think so. I think that would just feel like you know tonally weird. And I actually feel like I sort of trust this show to like do do a discussion of like what, like what next? Like, so you got called out. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do next? Is it's there, like, like a public is, video. Is there a path to redemption? Like, what do you do? Yeah, and I mean, I think yeah. the show has always like, straddled that line yeah. of idea of what to do. Is there a way of redemption for these characters when they're so realistic? Yeah. And they're so human. Yeah. Um, and how do you go about that? And I mean, there's a lot of discussion of whether or not Bojack deserves to be redeemed, but I think the real, really the show is trying to say there's no such thing as redemption almost. Like, there's just life. Yeah. There's just shit you do that hurts yeah. people. And yeah, I really feel there's like... There's no such thing as deep down. Yeah, there's no <laughs> such thing as deep down. There's no All such thing as good as bad people. Yeah. And, like, how you cope with those things, how Just, other people yeah. cope with those things, and how you move forward, and how you right. change as a person, which is, like, a good, which is, like, a ballsy thing to do on topics such as, like, attempted sexual assault, um, violence against women. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Like, these are really serious right, things. Right, exactly. Um, and it could so easily be, like, you know, brushed off if if the only like you know solution was like oh he apologizes and everyone's like oh right. that's okay thanks for apologizing right. like you know kind of the thing with like holly hawk and her friend like, yeah oh it's so simple but when the thing that you did is that bad it can't be that simple i really think i i'm gonna bet money that that's gonna as some sort of scene's gonna happen where bojack apologizes and someone's like it's not that simple right yeah like and i think it really brings into this idea of like I think I mentioned this, or like, what do you do when someone who has hurt you and and uh, betrayed you when they do apologize? Yeah, yeah. And how do you forgive them? And how do you move forward? Yeah, and I do think you that'll probably them? be explored like with Holly Hawk and Bojack's relationship because yeah. I think she's gonna you know struggle with it. Of all of the you know characters in his life, I think she's gonna have like the most you know difficulty accepting. I yeah, I agree. This because she doesn't really know like any of the bad shit that she Bojack's doesn't. done. Well, because she came into Bojack's life so late. So late, and she's young, so he's not going to, like, tell her right. about all this stuff. Um, yeah, so that's going to be rough. Yeah. Um, I had yeah. another thought, and it slipped away from me. And that'll probably be that, like, thing where, you know, he's like, I'm sorry, and she's going to be like, no. Right, yeah. <laughs> what? The other thing, too, is, um, and I hope... It seems like this is the kind of growth he's having, but, like, last season when he's fighting with Diane and he says, I'm the victim of everything that's bad that's happened to me, yeah. I think there's going to be a parallel or a turnaround where he's like, I'm not the victim, and he kind of realizes that. Yeah, yeah, especially if, like... Well, I think what's interesting about the way that, like, the victims, like, in this episode are being framed is, like, they all do at this moment maybe have something to gain by coming forward right and i think like that's like a really interesting and complicated thing to like explore like you know gina's career suffering kelsey's career suffering yeah. when they have an opportunity to kind of you know come forward and like kind of explain themselves yeah and like it could seem self-serving like yeah. oh you're only coming forward now when it, this happened a year oh, or two ago yeah that's another like, thing yeah, people are gonna that's say that's 100 gonna oh, be a absolutely. big part no of it. no yeah. that's how it's gonna be they're gonna be yep. like be like well, oh Kelsey, gina, gina, you gina you're... why did you come forward then yeah when your career is down yeah. the toilet did Kelsey, this really happen well, you they haven't have directed camera. a movie oh, yeah, yeah. They, have it on they do have it on camera so they can prove that it happened okay. at least. and it's like kelsey you haven't directed a movie in a while you're not doing too hot why are you coming forward now yeah yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah, you're only absolutely. coming forward now, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like that is definitely going to be a thing that you know that will be explored, and I think that is interesting and like important to explore because it's like, it's not like you know Gina had really good reasons to not come forward when she did. Like she, yeah, she didn't want it to define her. She like you know she just kind of wanted to move past it and stuff. And yeah. now on the flip side, she kind of does have good reasons to come yeah. forward. Like yeah, so 
No. I don't know. Interesting. No. Interesting stuff. Yeah. It's going to be a doozy. It is. <laughs> I really see it as like being like the darkest Bojack's ever gone. Oh, yeah. Um, for sure. Even though season five was pretty Season five dark. was really dark. Yeah. Season f- I thought season five was going to end with Bojack dying. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. They sh- kept well, they showing kept a staircase. Yeah. They were and like, I'm like, hey, guys. I'm like, hello. <laughs> Walk in the light, Bojack. Um, right. Yeah, no, that was um, that was really dark, and I think that yeah, I still kind of think that the ending isn't gonna be. I don't think it's gonna dark, be dark. I don't think it's gonna be a downer ending. I think like possibly he'll just kind of like leave like the public eye. I think too, too, but that's the thing is like he's trying to right now. <laughs> he yeah, he's that's like true. in the process of trying that that's true. right now. Like, yeah, he's trying to get this job that he's obviously gonna get fired for immediately. Right. Once this all starts, he's probably gonna get protested at Out Wesleyan. Like, well, how how liberal is Wesleyan? Wesleyan's very liberal. Ooh, he, Bojack's gonna get protested. Bojack at is his gonna university. get like <laughs> protested on his first day in the I'm, job. I'm thinking of like a professor a la Bojack going into the university we went to, and I. I'm like crying at that thought of like everyone yeah. protesting him. Yeah. Um, no, absolutely. No, that's 100% not going to go well for him. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, Which is like, yeah, kind of a, kind of a bummer. It is. Like, it is. Because I want he's... that for him, but yeah, yeah. it's not going to work. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, I think they'll, I think they're going to handle it. I trust them to handle it in a very well. Yeah off way because another thing the show has done is like it never frames the victims as in the wrong either sure yeah um, yeah definitely yeah yeah and i think it, it it does a good job at handling like really complicated you know situations situations so yeah i really have nothing but um excitement for yeah. this see for the rest of the season i don't see it ending um, in a bad way I or like get ending in like a yeah terribly written way i don't all. know like i feel like i'm gonna loss at like what's gonna happen but yeah. i feel like it's gonna be good yeah <laughs> it just cuts like it opens and it's like repeat pete is like she's like who is he and he's like i don't know i can't remember he's like name. i think it was mr peanut butter yes! <laughs> <laughs> so the college kids photoshopped bojack to be mr peanut butter because he was oh cooler God. than bojack mr. and it just all falls on him <laughs> mr peanut butter is the fall guy so was everyone thinks Mr. Peanut Butter killed Sarah Lynn. <laughs> they're like, and then yeah, they're like, Bojack, how do you feel about that? She was your TV daughter. And he's like, yeah. what the fuck is happening? He's like, oh, what? He's like, what? <laughs> um, Mr. Peanut uh, Butter becomes the face of the fallout. Yeah. It's very funny. That would be hilarious. Mr. Peanut Butter gets me too I think it, I think it would be funny, like, however Mr. Peanut Butter is going to be tied to this by, like, association. Like, you're friends with him. Like, you know, yeah. like, what do you think? And I, th- I think it'd be funny if he, like, became, like, um... I don't know, some kind of, like, spokesperson. Well, like, the, like, like on behalf of, like, the victims, he's like, oh, I... Like, well, like, if he said something that was accidentally, like, super woke, and everyone's like, oh, my God. Mr. I can Peanut see butter. that going either that <laughs> way, and it's irony from, like, how everyone detested him after it came out, he yeah. cheated on Pickles, yeah. or the other way where it's like, you cheated on your fiance. Yeah, and now... We don't... Yeah. We don't... We didn't forget about that or something. <laughs> um, So I can see that going both ways. Um, yeah. I hope Mr. Peanut Butter gets like a serious moment because all of his serious moments, he's only had like a few. They're very good, especially with Bojack. I'm yeah. specifically thinking about the award show, or not the award show, the, the uh, game, game show. show the I, game that show. is one of my favorite That's like episodes really and favorite scene. scenes like yeah. in the entire. Like I am obsessed with that scene where he's like, "Why don't you like me?" Right. I'm nice to you all I'm, the time. Yeah, yeah. Like I and, and I, I and I love nice that guy. because it shows he actually is very noho Hank actually from Mr. Peanut Butter. From Barry. Yeah. yeah. And like and like and like that moment like in particular when he shows like he's he's not as stupid as he seems. Yeah. Like, he's like no, like I like pick up on the fact that you treat me like shit. Yeah. And I don't like it. <laughs> Here's a question. Speaking of that season, do you think Wanda's going to come back? I don't think what so. Is she, what is she? She's like a TV executive now? Like, I don't know. I, don't know. I think she is. Because she doesn't have any, like, anything to say about about Bojack. Like, he didn't do anything to her. No, they were just in a yeah. shitty relationship, They were just really. in kind of a, yeah, it just ended. And, yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. I didn't think so um, I think if if anyone, I think, like, the, the major players were, like, in... This in episode. this episode just to remind and you where just, they are yeah and i don't think there's gonna be 
Like, you know, Sharona obviously is The Navy SEAL from the first the episode Navy comes Seal. in. Honestly, that'd be so funny. Yeah, yeah well, like, uh, like Sharona is, like, is like another yeah. person who could have been involved in this. But, but it was shown already that she, you know, she ooh, forgave him. She moved yeah. on. Um, but, like, she would have been, you know, justified. But she doesn't there. know Bojack was with Sarah Lynn in her last moments. That's true. That could change how she feels about, that could. about it. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be it's, it's gonna, gonna be tough. Be, it's gonna be tough. I'm really sad to see this show go. I know, I know. This show go? That's a no go, bro. <laughs> That's Netflix for like the past five years, yeah. and now they're like, okay, it's time to. They're go. like, make make another season, and they're like, okay. Yeah, they're like holding a gun to yeah. Raphael's head, like make yeah. another season right now. He's like, okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad that it's not too far off. Like, you know. The end of January. Yeah. It'll be here before we know it. Yeah. It'll be I, the holidays. It'll be the recovery from the holidays. And then it'll be Bojack. Bojack time. Bojack and then time. it's the recovery from Bojack time. And then it's the time. recovery from Bojack. And then it's summer. And then it's summer. It's going to take some months, I think, to it's fully recover. It's summer. Why not? <laughs> Why not? It's summer. Why not? It's summer. <laughs> Me rewatching Bojack, like, the entirety of it. I hope they, like, I don't... I need to rewatch the entirety before the rest of the season comes out. I was gonna. I don't know if I was gonna do it before or after. Honestly, I'm gonna do it before because it's been a minute. All right. And I already started, but I only got up to like the telescope and episode in uh, season one. Oh, that's fair. And oh. then I was like, got so emo that I had to stop. <laughs> it made me too crazy. It made me too emo. I had to stop. I was um, rewatching BoJack, and then I got to when Herb said, "Get the fuck out of my house," and I had to stop. It made me too emo. That's fair. It made me too crazy. <laughs> Herb said, "Get the fuck out of my house." Oh. And I was like, ah! I know Netflix hardly does this, but I. Kind I kind of really hope they put it all out on DVD just because I love box sets. Oh my god, yeah. I would I would buy like any any Bojack merch paraphernalia. Like <laughs> paraphernalia is a weird word. I have the art uh, the art book, which I love. The art book is amazing. The only piece of Bojack merch I have is my calendar, but I love it because every month is like a different piece <laughs> of artwork from the background of episodes. Oh, I love that. And it's so cool and I hope they make another one for next year because That's it's so such a cute thing. Yeah. Um and it's like and it shows like all the made-up holidays and shows all the characters' birthdays and like Aww. it'll show like what episode it's from and what season that it's from. That's very cute. Yeah, it's really cute. I really like it. Yeah. I hope they make another one. I just want some Bojack merch. Yeah, Bojack's not not as merchandised as I, which I kind of think is a good thing. Yeah. 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 It's. I don't know. Bojack's. Like a, I feel like Bojack it's popular, plushy. but like. Yeah, it's it's kind of like a weird. I don't know, like what it is because it's I feel popular, like, but not in the mainstream. It's like a it's a it's like a very popular show, and like a lot of people watch it. But I feel like people don't talk about it all that much. I feel like which that's is because weird. of the binging. I yeah, but even like comparing it to like Stranger Things. Yeah, yeah, like Stranger Things. I feel like it doesn't get as much buzz. And like as much like after the after the season comes out, everyone watches it and then like no one talks about it again. Yeah, that's the thing. And it's like I feel like it's been dumbed down to people use it as like reactionary images for its like deep quotes, but it's quotes that are taken out of context. Right. Which piss yeah. me off. Or like people use it as like like they use bad uh-huh. parts of isn't alcoholism funny? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Where they use Bojack's alcoholism as like a joke and it's like, oh that's me too. And I'm like, well, it, maybe yeah. you should go get some help because this isn't is a serious being a shitty issue. person funny. Right, yeah, and that's the thing is like this show is so gun ho on like, you know, if you are struggling with depression, if you're struggling with like substance abuse, you should get help. Right. That's and not like, a personality trait. Yeah, yeah. Like that get doesn't help. like excuse your actions and yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. And the whole the whole rant that Diane went on last season is like Right. The, yeah, that's the like thing, though, obviously is, directed at some fans yeah, yeah. and just general media, you know. The culture. thing is like I yeah. know, I don't really see that many fans at use Bojack as a um talking point for like they're like, I relate to Bojack, so I'm doing fine. Because oh, I feel yeah. like the show yeah, like an frames it. Thing. Right, yeah. exactly. Because I feel like the show frames it right. so well where you're, you're the show for makes Bojack, it, but you know yeah. he's a bad person. It makes it very, very hard to be like, oh, like Bojack's so cool. He's such a he's such an edgy asshole. Right, like, exactly. Like, and I'm I don't just know if like it's him. because it's not as popular as like say because like I feel like like and I, people I know compare it to Rick and Morty because Rick and Morty like falls where that comparing that to like how Rick right. should be framed as a shitty person, but people still idolize him. Yeah. And yet, 
uh, Bojack's a shitty person, but people don't idolize him. Yeah, at as least much, yeah, to the same much, extent. Not as much as yeah. they do Rick. I wish that people would talk about like Bojack more often. Yeah, I don't know on the internet. Internet. There's not really. There's not like a. There's not like a fandom, you know. Like I, there's like there really no isn't. Bojack like fandom, which is like I don't know what we would do, but like we could right. talk and stuff. It'd be fun. Right. Hit me up if you want to create a Bojack fandom. Yeah, let's create a Bojack <laughs> fandom. What are we called? And, and the bohos. You... <laughs> bohos, get your alcohol. <laughs> bohos, grab your alcohol. Bohos, grab your trauma. bad coping mechanisms. Your intergenerational trauma. <laughs> I don't know. We could just make like video essays at each other and um, AMVs and give each other therapy. And, fan art and give each other I know. Therapy. I and yeah, it's just weird. Like I feel like there's not that much. Like there, there's some like you know fan art and stuff, but it's like yeah, it just doesn't kind of spark that same kind of you know creativity, creativity. as like as like as other fandoms do, and I don't yeah. really know why. I don't either because it's so weird because it's like BoJack is such a good like world building too i know it. it's such an it's interesting like you, yeah. i see some people make like you know bojack sonas and stuff <laughs> yeah which i know is just a furry but <laughs> I, it's just the it's just like the like the cool the not even cool i don't know way of saying that you're a furry is like what's my bojack sona <laughs> i'm a bird i know you could also just Rissa still be a human farming. oh yeah no I i'm a bird you're a i'm like a bird <laughs> this has gone off the rails yeah well that's fine we can probably um, this out. Well, well, I think we'll time to say bye bye to Boho. Bye 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 Boho. Um, and yeah, we'll do these again. Yeah, when the rest of the season comes out, and who knows where that will leave us. Yeah, fear. We might not even do a podcast because we're so emotionally compromised. <laughs> yep, it um, might just be like a lot of crying, and who knows? Just who knows? for like who an knows? hour straight. It'll be great. Yeah. All right. Thanks. I hope that someone enjoyed listening to these. Yeah. They're fun to do. They are. So. Bye, everybody. Bye.